Okay, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make dynamically sizing uh, height table view cells. So as you can see here, I have three cells. One of them has a little bit of text, a lot of them have, another one has a lot of text, and another has a medium amount. But as you can see, it's all the same height. And if you try to set like height for row at, um, you wouldn't really be able to do that. You could calculate the label, but that's buggy and it's kind of hacky. So this is gonna work for both storyboards with auto layout and also programmatic. I use programmatic and um, so that's what I'm gonna show you, but same thing. I'm gonna assume you know how to set up a table view. It's pretty quick. I don't know if this works with frames, if you're using frames. When, when I first started programming programmatically, uh, I would use frames. I don't know if that actually w works, but so for there's two conditions or maybe three conditions we have to meet to do that. So the first thing is, let's say that this is our cell. This is our text label. And this is like an image or something. Basically what you need is you need to have a constraint at the top from one of the things. You need it from the sides as well. Um, then you need a, a constraint from whatever uh, other objects you have, then to the sides and then to the bottom. So you need a constraint hitting every side. And if you had like something else in the middle here, you would need a constraint between the two as well. Basically, all you have to do is have if you only have a label, a top, a leading, a trailing, and a bottom anchor. So the second condition is if we're using a label, we need to set the label's number of lines to zero. Okay, so that's working. So as you can see, it's working. And the last thing, I th this doesn't seem like, as you can see, it's already working, but people on Stack Overflow say, that you need to set the table views estimated row height, which the default row height is 44. Um, so I don't know, I've never needed either of these. You also, you should probably at least set this one, self.tableview.row height uh, equals to UI table view dot automatic dimensions. So yeah, I don't know. Th these don't seem to make a difference for me, but that's what you're supposed to do.